Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and uh, here is another update, 1970 Convertible Beetle. We are getting on and I started doing the top guys and it's coming out real good. Again, I got my material from SoFine uh, and I used the beige tweed cloth. As you can see in here, it's starting to come out real nice. And I've been following uh, four different how-tos that I found online and uh, each of them have their own techniques on, on putting the top together but I'm going to quickly go through with you what I did uh, to see uh, what kind of results I've been coming up with um, so basically what I did was I started from the front and I started stapling right here in the groove okay so you want to follow the center line and you want to make sure that you're all lined up perfectly I have I'm going to be putting together an extensive how-to on this more step-by-step -step process but in this video I just want to go over with you uh, exactly uh, you know what I did so I started uh, tacking it here in the front and then just like the ragtop uh, headliner uh, DVD that I have for sale out there I just basically went from here then from this bow glued the listings down here pulled it nice and taut from side to side so you want to get this nice and straight okay so use some uh, headliner glue that you can pick up at AutoZone or if you want to use the Permatex stuff that's fine um, and then I went to this bow, okay, and then I went to this bow, and then this one, and then I pretty much stopped right there, and I made sure to get the straps in, okay, so I, I, I started a strap here, basically five inches from this end right here to the end of the tube here, okay, so like right here, and measured five inches in, okay, tack that down, have to drill a hole, and then I tacked it right here now here's a big measurement that you got to watch out for and it is from here to center line down here so you want to go center so basically we went from center vent okay from here to here to the top of this frame 23 and a half inches okay so that basically then puts the frame direct center okay from here to here okay so from here to here and from here to here so it's five and a half inches from here to here 23 and a half inches to here so I made sure we placed okay I, I need I needed to make sure 23 and a half inches I'm sorry from the wood bow to this center point right here so from here to here here 23 and a half inches position this got the straps in place you need to do this because this will move you need this to be stationary so 23 and a half inches to here okay and then this was uh, seven and a half inches from here to here so we made sure this all worked together so I put the strap in here and then what I did was a zip tie here which is pretty cool so you punch a hole here punch a hole here and then you can wrap the zip tie through it a strong zip tie and then you just fasten it right here stapled it here and then stapled it right down here before you staple it down here though, just make sure it's nice and tight between this bow, the drifter bow here, the floater bow, and then the wood bow here. Get this nice and tight. This will pretty much set up where this wood bow has to be placed. Like I said, 23 and a half inches. If you have to, like what we did, we tied some rope from here to here to this outside facing here. Just nice and tight you know, on the outside just to hold this in place. Okay, and then once I had the headliner all wrapped around from here, the best thing to do is then, before your window's even put in, you're going to pull it tight, and you're going to start stapling it here to the center all the way around. You'll have a straight uh, headliner, uh, basically, before you put that uh, the back window in. And then once you have this headliner taut and stapled down here, then get the strap, and you're going to pull this nice and tight, the, exit, the, the remaining strap, staple this all up here on this wood bow, Pull this nice and tight. Okay, now we measured 16 and a half inches from the center line here, 16 and a half inches out here, basically. So the outside of the strap met with this line. I did see some other how to's where they actually moved the strap to, to the body line here and stapled from there. Uh, I thought that that was actually a little bit too far. We even tried uh, the middle of the strap with this, with this line. That still was a little bit too far. I liked it where the strap was actually coming inside. You saw the strap on the inside of the frame here. But what's nice about it is there's a good amount of meat that holds this frame up. So we're able to move the strap 
and clamp it and glue it with some adhesive. This is all this window is, it's just a floater really on top of this strap. So we just glued this, moved the strap out just a little bit just to hold it in place. And uh, that really came out really nice. But like I said, five and a half inches from here to the top of the wood here. So that seems to be the nice uh, spot there. I did go to a car show um, uh, last week and they had a convertible bug there. I knew it was gonna be there. So I took some measurements and sure enough, uh, that, that headliner looked like it was in good shape and it was a 71 Super Beetle and it had five and a half inches from here to here. So just a quick recap again, you know, I stay, I, again, I started stapling it from here. I went to this bow, went to this bow, went to this bow, just start putting the listings, pulling this thing tight, pulling it outwards as well to get it nice and tight. And then once we got to the wood bow, we stopped, we put the strap on top, okay, then tied this in order, then from there, pulled the headliner straight down, okay, tacked it all the way in, and then put the strap on top of that, and then you got your back window placement. Now, after that, you start using these, um, we had to fish some twine in these pockets here to pull this out even further. Okay, see how we did this? We tied that here, we, we made a slit in this pocket here to tie on this bow, and then made another slit to tie on this bow. Now, some headliners have a pocket that come, come all the way up to here. This headliner did not, so what we did do was put some zip ties through the headliner. I, I kind of made it into a, a pocket, so to speak, right? Fold it over, zip tie through, and then I zipped it right here under the bow here, and that kept this nice and tight. So now you have a pretty straight headliner so far. Uh, you know, a lot of the headliners are just very wrinkly and then uh, somewhat acceptable because it's quote unquote a convertible, and uh, I don't want that. It's got to be pretty straight, so. Um, and then of course around the back window, once you put the back window in, same techniques as like how I show you on my oval window um, sedan headliner, you're going to use the same techniques to do the back window on, uh, on the convertible. So I even made it nice and straight down below the headliner as well. On the bottom portion there, you want that nice and straight all the way around the perimeter of the back window. So uh, keep following me along. Like I said, I'm going to probably have a more formal how-to on this. And uh, we are progressing, and it's, uh, like I said, my first stab at doing a convertible headliner. I did have to take these listings off every now and then to re-glue, and uh, if you do have a pretty strong glue, sometimes it's tough to get these off. As you can see, it's kind of bunching up here because I put so much, I've taken it off and on several times just to try to get it right. Um, I'm kind of finicky with the, the placement of the headliner, so. Uh, but uh, that's it, guys. Keep following along. 70 Project Convertible, and... Uh, you know, hopefully we'll have this top on and be a black canvas top and we'll be able to keep continuing and showing you guys how, how we do this. If you guys have any questions, uh, you can leave it in the comments below or pop me an email and you know where to find me. All right, guys. Until then, take care.